Hi there, welcome to my channel. This is an update on the Humanoid Robot Project. Since last time, I have been working a bit on the control of the different actuators and reading the sensor values from the different sensors I have in the robot. I now have all the actuators connected to the Arduino through some driver boards. So that means the servos, the stepper motors and also the DC motors. In the chest, I added um, something different. Here was the power supply. And now I have a custom board uh, to handle the uh, stepper motors. And I do have the file on uh, Thingiverse if you want to print, but know that it's still a work in progress. Under the servo driver boards, I have added a custom board. This acts like a switch for the actuators in the hands. And this is a case that I um, custom designed and the file is also on Thingiverse. So in the hands currently I have um, in this palm an electromagnet to pick up uh, metal pieces and then a suction cup uh, here. And for the suction cup I have an, uh, a pump here and a solenoid valve. So this controls the airflow and it's connected to the uh, switchboard that I showed you before. And here I have a custom case for the Arduino Mega which um, helps keep in place all the wires, so it's, uh, it's deeper than a normal uh, case uh, to kind of protect all the connections. In the eyes I added some photo cells, so we know how bright uh, things are around. And this is a demo of the elbow movement. It's controlled by two servos. And I tested the stepper motor on the bicep, that is with the full arm on. So one of the shoulders broke and um, it's actually this component. And when I look at the problem, I mean the, the infill for this was apparently really really low, like in hands, so... This is no good, so I printed uh, the component again, pretty strong now, um, so this was at 60% uh, infill, so hopefully it will uh, be better. And then I also managed to break the other shoulder, but in a different place. So um, it cracked uh, right next to the, where the servo was. So I printed uh, again, this time with 60% infill. So now with both shoulders fixed, I started putting them on. It went okay for, for a while, until it didn't. Well, this was the third time I broke the shoulder, and second time I broke it because it fell. The robot is getting uh, quite heavy, so it's uh, becoming difficult to uh, move him around and turn uh, him. So 
um, I'm trying to figure out a solution for that. So since I didn't have a luggage weight scale at hand, I used my own weight scale. Seems like the torso is around 13.4 kilograms and the arms are way too heavy, 465 kilograms. So in total, 18 kilograms. It's, it's a lot. Over time, I had different uh, ways of handling this. I have like a blueprint of the final size of the robot and the different parts. Um, and I can put that on a table uh, and then put the robot on top of it. That's fine um, in terms of measurement. But it's, uh, it's more difficult when I want to test the movement of the different parts. Another way of uh, moving him around was to uh, hang him from the ceiling. Uh, I've tried that several times. Um, he can't stand now as it is. It can't keep its balance, right? Um, so it will just move side to side. It's not... Uh, it's not very practical, plus if uh, with the current weight it's hanging from the ceiling, it would be difficult for me to take it down and move it to another one. So I thought about a different way of um, uh, increasing the mobility and uh, my access to the different components, and that is by um, sitting him on a, on a chair uh, and putting that chair on wheels. Um, it, it might sound like a wheelchair. It looks a bit strange, uh, but I'm pretty happy with the solution in that it's practical. It does the job. So I can now move the robot from one room to the other, um, pretty easily turn him, uh, and, and it's, it's really flexible. So I'm quite happy with the solution. That is for now, because the accident earlier was actually happening while he was on this chair. So there are definitely improvements to be made, probably putting a weight on the lower part. But feel free to comment if you have some suggestions on how to do this better. Well, that is it for today. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe for more. Bye bye.